get on the pole, do some tricks, right? Like, I came to be entertained. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all ready for this nightlife episode of Cartagena? spots do you all like to hang out in Cartagena? It could be a restaurant, do you guys like to go clubbing, a nice lounge? Let me know in the comments below. We will start off with one of my favorite places to go to, Delirium. Y'all, Delirium is the bomb.com and the full name is Delirium Gastro Bar, right? So we were like the only people e eating there. I I have no idea why. People just came really to like drink. They have hookah there as well. It's a really cool laid back atmosphere. The place is really nice. Um, but most people were just coming to drink and smoke hookah. But y'all, the food is effing delicious. Shouts out to the crew at Delirium because I love these people. We, we, we frequented this place quite a bit and they recognize us. Uh, shouts out to Ellie to making Frank's birthday um, amazing. I We walked in there, I was like, yo, it's his birthday today. They really played the happy, please cumpleaños Saki, right? And so um, this song, I'm not gonna sing it though. And they brought Frank out a free drink. So I was like, oh, y'all are so sweet. And then like this random woman came over and started dancing behind Frank. Two random women came over and started dancing behind Frank. But we had a really good time there at Delirium. Um, Ellie is so, so adorable. She's this uh, black woman with a curly fro. If you go tell her Frank and Sheena said hi, she'll be like, who? But like, cause I don't think she knows our name, but like screenshot it. The fries at Delirium are really, really good as well. So one of the last nights that we went to Delirium, which was his birthday actually, um, he's Valentine's baby. Um, there was a group of friends in there and they were dancing and having fun. So it really is a cool bar to hang out at. Um, they know their audience. They know what to play. You're going to hear a lot of reggaeton just in general. The next place I want to talk about is Mondo Exotica. It had been open for three weeks by the time we had gone there. So it was brand spanking new and we were actually hanging in there with the owner. We've been open for three weeks. We actually opened three weeks ago. And right now we're working on our cocktails. We have uh, 10 tiki cocktails that are our house cocktails. And then we're adding another 18 this week. And they're pretty good. And then tonight, the reason you're testing the food is we're starting to work with the food in the kitchen and get that menu down too. So I hope you enjoy it. So the vibe for Mondo Exotica is it's like a tiki bar. It's really laid back. They play a lot of reggae music. It's a really cool spot. She's kind of like, it's like a place to chill before you go out and party. Um, I'm sh very sure that will change in the near future because like I said, it's new and a lot of people haven't discovered it yet. So while you guys are out there going to the super packed bars that everybody, all the other YouTubers tell you to go to in Cartagena. Um, Mondo Exotica is a really nice place to go to. You can get your drinks in a timely manner and you can pay for them in a timely manner as well. It's definitely a place to check out. We got to sample quite a few drinks here. Um, tried and true rum shots, definitely. There's a, they have a shark bite drink. I, don't quote me on that, but it's served in a shark head and it's got like blood coming on this outside, just like jaws. So it's pretty cool. We got to try that drink. Um, they give you a shot when you walk in. So, I mean, hello, I was sold. <laughs> I ain't got like free liquor. Say no more. I'm in. The bartenders were really awesome. They took really good care of us. They noticed we were taking pictures for the gram. So um, he was like, oh, wait, let me spice up your picture, right? So he took some. Um, cinnamon sticks, put some, I don't know, I guess some liquor on them and set them on fly, fire. And that was like a dope video for y'all. Check it out. They're really cool people in there. Let them know we sent you. Some of the places that I was talking about that I feel like is a bit overrated, Alchemico. It's got a cool vibe, but it's so freaking packed with foreigners. Evidently the word has gotten out that it's a spot to be, that it's not the spot to be anymore, if that makes any sense. Um, it's just, okay, so remarkably, we went in there, we looked at the menu, 
dude made our drinks like so fast and he was like yo that'll be x amount and we paid him we got our cash so for as packed as it was kudos to them for getting people's drinks getting the money <laughs> and getting y'all out of there but it was just so packed that it like the music was good it was just so packed you know what i'm saying y'all ever seen blade and he walks into the bar it had like a blade vibe but without the cool dressed people like everyone was in cargo shorts and flip-flops or sandals um but i mean i can't blame you cargo shorts are definitely handy when you're traveling abroad and there's so many pockets right so it was cool it's a cool place don't get me wrong and then the bartenders definitely know their stuff the drinks there just flavor wise you're gonna taste some stuff that you've never had before that you've never seen on anybody's menu they're definitely um mixologists there they know their craft so alchemico has three different levels we were only we only went to two they had the third level cut off but a friend who went around christmas was like oh did you go to the rooftop upstairs we did not they had it roped off so apparently there's a rooftop upstairs so the first floor is super super packed tables you like barely in any room the second level has a bar and there's pool tables where you can hang up out it's more of a laid-back vibe um crowded definitely but not nearly as crowded as the first level uh, sorry excuse me yeah so it's a really cool place it just feels like you know how when people are like oh this place is really cool and then everyone discovers it and then it's not the cool place anymore that's it's kind of what it feels like so monkey bar is a really great place to kind of catch your breath in between spots you know how you club hop, club bar hop and you know like you're just going hard right so monkey bar was a really uh, good place to go in and kind of chill they had really amazing ac um if you go to Cartagena, as you will find out as we did, like some places, uh, they care about AC. Other places, they do not. Shout out to My Live Lifestyle. Um, my husband does a ton of research before we go anywhere in any foreign country. So your videos was one of the videos he watched and he told us that we need to go to Mikey Bar. So shout out to you. All right, the moment has arrived for what you guys really come here for. The clubs we went to a total of i guess you could consider it three clubs yeah yeah it's because technically the one has a club at the end of the name um so we'll start off with that one first um just a disclaimer i am from atlanta strip club culture is very common here it is no big thing for girls to go to the strip club right cool so when we go abroad we go to strip clubs this i mean you know why the hell not uh we went to isis strip club and it was dead um nobody was there the girls weren't dancing they were all in their little cliques talking to each other and it was just the most odd thing and and normally in the states you go into one of these establishments and girls come around and they're like hey you want to dance well first of all there's already girls on the stage regardless if people are there or not and they're dancing but like that wasn't the case this time i can't recommend this place honestly i just can't maybe if it's just like you and a bunch of dudes but i feel like they don't even dance then like we were there for a minute and i kept waiting for someone to get on stage and they never got on stage i just don't understand i don't know and it's not my job to figure out so they do what they do apparently they make some kind of money doing who knows what use your imagination and we went to isis on a friday night like after we had dinner probably at delirium definitely go to the other two bars that we went to clubs that we went to on the same street um i think one was like at space and dolce vita are right next door to, to each other and i think they are like diagonal across the street from isis space was cool a lot of people dope vibe we ended up going a lot to dolce vita the makeup of these two clubs there's a whole lot more women than there are men and a lot of women in their freakum dresses standing around not dancing sipping on a corona 
just waiting to be chosen. It's a cool spot. People are dancing there, despite all the women standing around. There's a lot of people dancing there too. A lot of, a lot of, again, a lot of foreigners at this bar. I feel that Dolce Vita is a spot that gets talked about a lot too. Um, and men tend to frequent this establishment for a variety of reasons. Um, but that place can be lit. So we went to Dolce Vita for Frank's birthday again. He's a Valentine's baby. We wanted to sit down. So dude was like, hey, you guys want a seat? Like, okay, here you go. Here's a table. You can sit down. There were these two other girls there. He was, the guy was basically like, you guys need to get up. They start to stand up. And he was like, yo, so, you know, if you want to sit here, you got to order a bottle. So we just picked the cheapest thing on the menu, a bottle of rum, um, and proceeded to turn the F up. It was lit. Those girls who who were gonna stand up, we were like, no, 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 you can sit, you can sit. So we had a bottle that we were not going to drink ourselves and we basically proceeded to offer some to like any and everyone in the club, which made the experience that much more enjoyable because we were just partying, giving out liquor for free, we didn't really care. There were some guys at the next table they were from Spain. I got to talking and dancing with them. Frank was like, hey, you guys want some of our bottle? They were like, yeah, you guys want some of ours? Frank was like, yeah, we'll take some. So um, everybody was so drunk, so lit. It was a good time. We really, I was I I was lit. I was like, you, you want a shot? You get a shot, you get a shot. On some Oprah mess, y'all, for real. I paid for the bottle. It's going to be empty by the time we leave. So yeah. Get the shot. We had gone to Dolce Vita before, we had danced and everything, but this night, the bottle service night, was in particularly the most fun we had had. And yeah, the girls who sat down at our table who were there first, Frank was like, no, you don't have to get up, y'all can sit down. They were like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, we were like, yo, drink this, help us drink this bottle. They were so polite and so like, not wanting to take it. They were like, no, it's yours, but I'm like, girl, if you don't help me drink this bottle, <laughs> like I was already lit when I walked into Dolce Vita. Like I was, I was trying to like really taper down because like I said, I was kind of drunk. So, um, yeah, I feel like, um, Colombians, they'll drink with you, but they're not trying to get wasted. Like they, they just want a buzz. I don't know. We gotta change that though. As you can see and tell from the video and my experiences, um, nightlife is popping definitely in Cartagena. You've got the clock tower where um, more ladies stand waiting and hoping, hoping to be chosen. Um, <laughs> her friend was like, yo, tell Frank to go to the clock tower and let me know what he thinks. And, and I was like, oh, we've already been. But I was like, aren't they just like friends going out for the night? I still, it's hard for me to wrap my head around that still. But, uh, I mean, you know, no judgment. That's what you do. That's what you do. Yeah, there's a lot of party buses going on and uh, riding around in Cartagena. Um, one night we were on our way to Old Town to go party and this party bus, like three party buses pulled up beside us and the first two were hype, they were lit, like they were leaning out the party bus and like they saw, they saw that I saw them and I rolled down the window and they were like, yeah, they were singing and everything. So I'm in the taxi, like getting hype with them um, and the taxi driver was like, you know, like low key, but like I'm driving. <laughs> But then the third one, like, those people didn't look like they were having fun at all. So, like, not all party buses are created equal. Um, but it's a really dope place to hang around. There's, um, as soon as you get to the square, they will be, be prepared for the people to walk up on you and be like, hey, what are you, they're actually there to help. So this, these people are actually here to help you. Yeah, they're here to get uh, business for whatever um restaurants and clubs they recommend as well but they genuinely want to help you and they're not asking for a tip no propina um they're like hey what are you guys looking for you guys want to eat you want a club what do you want to do and so you let them know and they're like oh okay well you can go to this club over here you can go to this restaurant and they'll they'll take you straight there so i don't know how that works i assume 
they're like promoters and they get something on the black on the back end for the club but like that ain't my business i just know i didn't have to tip and that was <laughs> like one person the one person in um cartagena who wasn't looking at my pockets any of the places that we went to if they have an instagram i will put that in the um description just so you guys can go and look on there and see for yourself how lit it is or not so that does it for the nightlife edition of cartagena colombia if you'd like to see more of my videos from cartagena hit that subscribe button i'm telling you i've got like videos on videos on videos like we gotta put them out so hit that subscribe button so that you are always alerted to when i put out new content and Hit that like button so recommends other people to watch my videos. Please and thank you. And see.